Welcome back to HomeKit Life. I'm Josh and I've got my cameraman Braden here with me. And today we're going to talk about the Ecobee. So now that we've seen the unboxing, here's the Ecobee, uh, we're gonna go get it installed. This is actually uh, one of my uh, favorite devices. This is actually like th the, the smart thermostat is what drove us into the smart home setup. Uh, we initially got a Nest for one of our houses. We did like it. Uh, I was a little disappointed when Google bought it. Uh, was worried about privacy issues and so that kind of pushed us into the HomeKit ecosystem and that's when we got the Ecobee. This is actually an Ecobee 3 Lite. Uh, it doesn't come with the sensors. I did separately buy sensors for the last house um, but we needed two of these here for this house because we have two furnaces. So we're gonna go get this thing set up and then uh, we'll kind of give you our thoughts on it and uh, let you know how it works. So let's go. All right, so we got that thing installed. Uh, there, it, w it was a little tougher than I thought. Uh, some of the, uh, the, the old wires were into things that didn't match up to what they were named in the, the Ecobee kind of sensor. I think we figured it all out. We got it all hooked up. Um, we had the hardest time though getting it to connect. So the steps are one, you need to add it to the Ecobee app. Um, so we had a house set up and we have an account and everything and then we added the device there. Um, all we had to do was get it to join the same network and then um, once you do that, uh, it, when you're installing it, it'll ask you for a code and once you have that code, it'll like show up in the Ecobee app. Um, but then we went to join it to HomeKit and we had to say like, um, I don't have a code because we couldn't find a code. And then once you say I don't have a code, it showed up in a list of accessories there. Um, but sometimes it would just disappear on us. And then we were able to click it and say add. And then actually if it works correctly, when you say add, the Ecobee itself will pop with the HomeKit code on the screen 
And so you just take a, you, you use the, the camera to get that QR code and then get it all added. Um, but then it timed out during that adding process. I had to reboot my phone. Then we had to like turn the Wi-Fi off on the Ecobee, turn it back on. It all seems to be working now, but it was, it was a bit of a challenge getting it in there. Um, so the, the things that I find nice are that, um, you know, it, it allows me to control as like part of my good night or um, my good morning, I can set the temperature that I want for that, that particular wing of the house. And the other nice thing is we have other sensors um, we can pair to it and we also get motion sensors out of that and we get additional readings in other rooms. So like one room runs a little hotter in the front by that master bedroom and then the master bedroom itself runs a little cooler. So, uh, you know, I can kind of adjust which sensors read like as we're sleeping or when we're away or when we're home. So that's kind of nice. Um, we are having a bit of a challenge with it not responding at, a mom at the moment, but hopefully we can get that fixed. Um, overall, I am happy with the Ecobee. Uh, if you don't have a C-Wire though, it is a bit of a pain to install. So just FYI, I've had to do it in other houses. This house had a C-Wire because they already had like smart thermostats with LCD screens. Um, but if you don't have a C-Wire, there's a little device called the PEK and it like basically pulls power off like at the furnace itself and then you can use one of the wires that is there on the thermostat to kind of power the Ecobee. So essentially the Ecobee needs to have that power from the seat wire. Um, but I've, I've actually had to call them before. They're actually really good uh, if you need to get them on the phone and uh, they'll like talk to you and ask you questions and then they'll have you take a picture of something and send it over. Um, usually it takes me like 20, 30 minutes when I've had to call them. I've actually, this is the first house I've done out of three where we haven't had to call them because the C-Wire was already here. So just know, you know, if you don't feel comfortable with that stuff, the Ecobee might not be for you. Um, but overall, like I'm happy with the Ecobee in, in terms of like, you know, a grade like A through F, I would give it a B as far as like functionality and how it works. You know, for me, the, the Logitech doorbell was an A, the video doorbell, the Eufy cam, I would give it a B, just dollar value to like what you're getting out of it. So uh, this one's also a B. Uh, hopefully we can get that, that problem resolved with the not responding in the home kit. Um, I, I suspect it has something to do with like our Wi-Fi network, so we'll see what's up with that. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell to get notified when we put these things up. Uh, throughout 2021, we're going to continue to produce more of this kind of content. So hopefully you do stick around and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.